Welcome to my Tormented Wraith Guide, and this is mostly for Iron or even Hardcore players. This is an easier way to get the Spirit Shield or the Blessed Spirit Shield. Keep in mind that for this, you will need to have completed the quest Summer's End. And if you are an Iron, hopefully you can access Magic Notepaper, and if not, that is perfectly fine. I am in Varrock, so let's go to the armor because there is actually a certain way you can only kill it, and that would be wearing black armor, which is only three pieces. So I'll be buying the full helmet, the plate body, and the plate legs. Now from Varrock, you want to go north. And this is so you, you can reclaim the Janaika's ring, I believe that's how you say it. And then I'll just show you where that rubble is. There we go. Once you're outside of Verok, continue to go north and then you should see a little rubble right here. And then you want to wear it. Now, we'll be making our way to Berthor real quick, as we need a weapon to kill them. And then, if you have, you can bring a skill cape and a Dragon Rider amulet or whatever you have access to, and we'll be using melee. And again, keep in mind, this is in the wilderness, so only bring what you are able to risk. Once we are at Berthorp, go east and then trade him, and we will be getting the black two handed sword. And now we'll make our way to Edgeville to the location. And while you are here, I would suggest going to your bank and then getting another very important item and that would be the herb bag so let's see boom let's see boom let's see herb boom there we go perfect now from the edge of the lodestone run north and you want to jump over the wall what the herb bag does is it actually holds up to 50 or a hundred grimy herbs of each type. This is very good because the Tormenta Wraith drops not a a lot amount but like a decent amount of unnoted herbs which this is one of the few monsters that drop um, unnoted which is actually kind of weird because you would think aberrant spectrums drop them but no those are noted. And then for the wilderness spot, we will be wanting to go to the Black Warriors for uh, Dark Warriors Fortress. Open all the doors, and you'll be wanting to go to the very center. Boom. And now as soon as you get to the center, walk one step and close the door. If any of the warriors followed you, uh, kill them. And now we wait until you're out of combat. Once you're out of combat, be by the hanging skeleton and right click your ring and operate. From here, you will no longer be in the wilderness, and you'll be in this little area. From here, there's not really much to do, because you can't open doors or anything. So just kill the tormented wraith here. You'll notice that in the chat box, it says, well, the 
Wraith is speaking in English, and that's because I have the hard Mortania diary completed. If you do not, it will just say woo woo, and that's pretty much it. And you'll just want to be keep killing this over and over again. For main accounts, this is pretty much dead content. For iron and even hardcore players, this is actually very good if you want a very well, if you want a good way to get the blessed and the normal uh, spirit shield. And for some reason, while you do kill the torment at rate, it does drop black armor back, so it's kind of so so. If you have access to invention, you can dismantle it for nightly components, which is again kind of useless, but you kind of get it passively if you are pretty dry on killing this. And then for the magic note paper, I've done this for about an hour and a half of testing, and about every 20 minutes, I will get four to six per potion drops. So that's mostly why the note, magic note paper is there. It's just in case you get a lot of per potions when you're not expecting it. And then remember, all the armor you get, you can either high out it, which I mean, I want it, but it's better than nothing, or just dismantle it, or don't even bother picking it up. And then the herb bag is for whenever the wraith does drop the unnoted herbs. So we just kind of have to wait for that to even happen. And that's pretty much it for the tormented wraith guide. This is mostly for iron and hardcore players, as I've said several times throughout the video. And as just in case they want to do this or not. And then that's pretty much it. Ooh, oak planks. That's actually pretty good. And with that, thank you all so much for watching this little quick guide. And enjoy the rest of your day.